Dan, have you finished with my knee kicker? Yeah, nice and clean, mate. I see your kicker there isn't clean, Dan. There's, I think there's carpets in there what's discontinued years ago. Yeah, yeah. And uh, I won't tell anyone it's yours really either, so... <laughs> <laughs> so uh, the idea of keeping your kicker head clean is uh, so you don't slip on carpets. Yeah, so you've got on your, your kicker head here, you've, you can see where all this matted fluff okay. is. We'll it's start... Easier. We'll clean this out so we can see what's going on with it. How do you? There's a few ways of cleaning your knee kicker. Uh, so, it's pretty quick to do. That this is something now that will cost you some money if you if your stretcher slips. So you need so to, if you want to get those out. You just just take them. As out easy like as that, that within yeah, seconds. If, if you're using a loop and you pull your stretcher back, you you could pull a loop. So if, you under, if you pierce the underlay, it causes uh, dust ingress. Yeah, so yeah. Dust can, and can, you, can, you tend to find, if you've just got the littlest spike, or even just the bump you can feel, when you kick, because the way the teeth are, they will sink in a, a bit more. I mean, and also, the, I wouldn't come straight in with a great big kick. You're gonna hurt yourself, you could rip the carpet.